May I invite the next speaker, Dr. Magti from Sudan. I, I'm, I'm having some uh, technical difficulties, so I won't be okay, sharing the right. screen for now. And I will okay. make it short because we are a little bit, a bit over of time. Okay. Can you can use a video if you if you are showing off to that we can see you? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, but uh, it depends on your connection. Is no problem. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Please hello everyone. Uh, Sudan first COVID-19 case was actually re reported on 13th of March, 2020. In, uh, in in Khartoum, the, the capital. As of uh, today, there is over 8,000 cases confirmed and 500 deaths. Most of the cases, like 90% of the cases is in the capital city, Khartoum. And uh, the first case was reported, as I said, in, in, in March. And he was actually diagnosed one night before uh, he died. Following his death, the fear were escalating in Sudan about the spread of the COVID-19. And the government considered containment measurements to represent, to represent the first line of defense because of the uh, weak health system that inherited from the previous uh, regime. So the government announced of a series of uh, measurements starting by closing the land board and uh, and ban the uh, all international and dom domestic travel so uh, the capital was placed under uh, continuous curfew and movement limited to health and and law enforcement like health personnel and law enforcement and uh, but due to the economic crisis people were queuing up for hours to buy bread and to fuel their tanks at the petrol station so many people were against the curfew and didn't believe in the infection. But when they confirmed cases and this is started to escalate, call for social distance, start to find a way into, into the people's ears. The, the community response uh, though, uh, from some groups were, uh, were being uh, noted because there were, uh, local communities, committees, locally known as a uh, resistant committee. They were, uh, they were uh, volunteered to manufacture hand sterilizer and face mask and distribute it for free uh, for, for the people. And also they, they volunteer to deliver the supplies or of, uh, of bread the fuel uh, and whatever to the to the people houses and recently even they they are delivering medicine for for the patient with chronic diseases to, to their places uh, however the 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 government is not happy with the with the community response uh, especially regarding the social distancing which make the minister of health go on tv and make a viral comment is like we have uh, during this pandemic, your health is in your hands. This disease has no treatment other than paracetamol. And if the patients suffocate it, he will be given just only oxygen. And if he get worse, in short, he will die. His comment was viral as goes further. And he said, if people didn't commit to prevent measure and social distance, they will simply die. So actually it was controversial uh, uh, about about the there were controversial uh, discussion about the community response to to COVID-19 in Sudan. Uh, up to now, still the government is facing the problem of, of of testing, as they are just only tested. Uh, the capacity of testing is only 200 per per day. So, uh, government announced that yeah, now it's 8,000, but the the expected is more away uh, is away more than that thank you